Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick series on replays and the finer details. This particular video is going to be about how to identify barcodes because when you're a caster, knowing a barcode versus knowing the actual player, that makes a huge difference. You can build narratives if you know the player. You can talk about their typical style. You can uh, you can really delve into things. If it's just a barcode, it's nameless, it's faceless, it's lost in the wind. And in fact, um, it adds a much stronger element to the cast should you go for the actual player name. So this video will be about that now. I know I did get promised you guys a uh, video about maps. That's going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks. Actually, it's been really hard to get as much information. I've got conflicting viewpoints. So I want to make sure I've got everything represented and presented for you well. So this is a little bit of filler until then. My apologies, but I think this is just as important. In any case, the best place to start I have personally found is one of two places. You can go to sc2replaystats.com and hold on. Let's just go here. Um, it's just a random, random player. But as long as you've got like one of the players, any player from the top Grandmaster ladder, once you've got access to their SC2 replay stats account, which I've got right here, I believe this is Stefano. Yeah, this is Stefano. Okay. So this is going to be Europe. Um, yeah. So all I got to do is go to 1v1 ladder and you can literally see every person who is on this ladder and you can go get their replays just by clicking their name. So let's say I wanted to go here for Cyril's replays. Boom. I now have access to that. All I had to do was achieve access to the original Stefano account. And we'll get into how to do that. Now I can come here. I can get his replays. He's got a recent one from May 21st and you know keep an eye on these but it's also against a barcode so what I can do now is come here and click this player okay shows me their Battle.net URL and I'm gonna go click on that I get this number right here I don't know what it is it's just important that's all I know copy and from here, I can go to se2unmasked.com, which is run by a guy named Ophidian. Real cool guy. I don't think he likes me very much, but, you know, props for the website, homie. It, it's great. Um, okay, so now that I've got this information, I'm going to come here to the European ladder. Sometimes the website takes a little longer to load on my machine. I've got some no script type stuff, ad block stuff, so, you know should work a little quicker for you all right now I'm right now in the Grandmaster um, league thing and this player here that we wanted info on is Grandmaster it looks like so hold on let's come back over here we're looking for the serial replay because yep serial replays because see it says here that he's master so I'm not sure what ladder he's in. Let's hit his 1v1 ladder. Yeah, okay. So he is in this league here. Okay. All right. So we're going to want to go to Master League. Just waiting on it to load. Like I said, the website can take a little bit on my machine at least, hopefully it'll work better for you. And now that I'm here, view page source, now I'm gonna hit control F on my keyboard and then control V, which pulls up, which is paste. And remember that number I copied earlier? It's right there, which it's searched for here and it's found right here. So all I'm going to do is take this line of text and follow it all the way to the left. All right, it's right here. So he has number 277. See it right there on this ladder. So that makes this player King Cobra. Now, King Cobra is a player who's been playing since like 2012. 
And of course, now that we know who the player is, if there was a Liquipedia page for him, which there is not for this guy, King Cobra, we could go do some research. We could also go look at uh, se2casts.com. And the whole goal of this is to do as much quick research about any given player as possible. So boom, type in King Cobra here. And these are all fairly old games. So what this kind of means is he's not been on the front stage for quite some time. He's also playing on a barcode, so he's maybe a name people will recognize, but there's kind of like this gray area of players of like people who are really known and then people who maybe used to be kind of known and maybe still have a cult following. Well, that's kind of King Cobra for you. So just knowing that it's King Cobra, you can begin to like, you know, see how he plays. You can even go use the same methodology to get some of his replays. Now, how would you do that? Well, we knew he was 277. Here is his GG tracker. And here's his SC2 replay stats. Here is also his Twitch. We could watch him play live. Last time he was online, May 24th at 2 p.m. Eastern. So let's take a look at his GG tracker. Last updated four months ago. So this is a cool tool, but it doesn't seem like people really update this too much. I still check it though. Here's the meat and potatoes though. SC2 Replay Stats, they are one of our sponsors, but they're also a really phenomenal tool for all kinds of replay needs. This is just one of them. So this guy uploads his replays here quite a bit. So if you wanted to, you could, you know, definitely cast the game of Cyril, because here's another one with him against Cyril. In fact, let's see how many Cyril games he has. Just that one on this page. Now we could go into his archive maybe, but Either way, this is what he's got on his page. So, we could watch three or four of his PVZ, get a theme of how he likes to play, what he does in his own gameplay, and you know how that ends up working out. Now, a lot of these are losses, so we could even learn from his mistakes and see how he grows as a player from this point here, May 10th, all the way to May 21st. We could do an 11 day series on how he's grown. There's all kinds of ways you could work with this. And it's just a matter of having the right tools for the job. Guys, I'm Shaft with Polygon Gaming. If you think these types of tools and this type of information is something that needs to be spread, share this with your friends, get it out there on Twitter, get it out there on every piece of social media that you use so that we can see more casters making better content because that's the only way to grow this community. Remember guys, Starcraft, lives. Join us on that hashtag with your own casts. And I will make sure personally to promote it, not only from my own account, but from the Polygon Gaming account as well. I will make sure you are retweeted. I will make sure to get you as much of an audience as is possible. All you've got to do is start making content. It is in your hands. The future of StarCraft is up to you. Guys, like and share this video. Subscribe if you have not already. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming, and I will see you next time. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.